Hello! Oh my goodness, I'm not even sure how to start this video. Um, partly because I don't remember what I said last time. I think I said that when I finished the semester of university, that was when I would paint Starburst, but I'm not entirely sure if I actually said that or if I just thought it, because there are a lot of things that just live in my head and can never escape, as is the case with most people, I suppose. But, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah! Um, I was saving one of my fountain fairy quests for her so I could paint her candy, but then I ended up getting uh, the candy paintbrush as one of my uh, weekly rewards, so it worked out perfectly and I have it now and I'm so excited. So, um, without further ado, let's just dive into Neopets. I don't really have a plan for this video, to be honest, aside from painting Starburst. And uh, Bridget is sad because she's hungry because I leave her out of the Neo Lodge so I can have one pet to feed. <laughs> Let's just check which, what our daily quests are. Simul? Uh, Smiley Cake Nick? I've never seen him before. Disappearing Plate of Biscuits. I've never... <gasps> I don't think are these new in the prize pool or have I just never gotten them because I don't I don't remember these being here before did they change the prize pool I have the King Altidore stamp as my reward now I'm not really sure <laughs> I suppose the items I'm most interested in are the um the the paint brushes and the fairy dolls um, even though they're not necessarily the most expensive, or at least some of them, but, um, yeah, <laughs> that's, um, you know, I think I'd prefer to have an item that I really like than something that's worth more. That's just me personally. Um, I understand that some people are really into trading in the economy, but I'm not so much. Anyways, we do have Feed a Pet as one of our, uh, thingies, so I never use this. I always just go to my inventory. Oh, hello. Bridget, I'm trying to feed you. <laughs> what do we have? We have this! Um, this fruity shaved ice. The reason I got this was because I was just browsing through shops I don't normally go to, and I thought this looked like something that Bryn would like. <laughs> That's literally the only reason I bought it, and then I had no idea what to do with it. It was just sitting in my, my inventory, but Bridget can have it. Um... I hope you enjoy that. Did you like it? Are you feeling better? Are you smiling? She's still very hungry, I think. Unless that didn't work. Do we- oh no, she's smiling again! Good for her. She's a little bit hungry, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but I suppose- oh, I have the candy paintbrush in my safety deposit box. I'll have to get that out. I could have just done this see. Oh, and we can do Trudy's surprise. How wonderful. Okay, sorry. This is, I'm all over the place. <laughs> 21 days. 7,000 meal points. Wonderful. Okay. Let's see. Candy. Oh, there it is. What else do we have? Snow candy chan. Did we get that yesterday from yeah I, no, that was a different time. I don't I don't remember. <laughs> There's so much I mean I don't have nearly as much in my safety deposit box as some other people, but I always find myself surprised when I look in there. <laughs> Oh, and I got this for her as well. I wanted, I want, um, the hair, the tail, the hooves, and the wings for her, but of the uni neon, um, set. But I don't, I'm not really interested. I, I don't think she needs the horn or the harness. I have a customization plan for her, but, um, can I just send this send to my neo friend? Oh my god, this always makes me so nervous. I mean, I suppose they're probably expecting more trading to be going on now for like gifts and stuff, so it's not as suspicious, but every time I spend a high value item to one of my side accounts, I'm so I'm so scared <laughs> that it's going to get flagged as suspicious <laughs> and I'm going to get in trouble even though I'm just trying to play by the rules. Okay. Um 
Yes, that is where uh, Starburst resides. And I'll also send this over. She needs that too. Um, I don't have the full set, but we can start putting her outfit together. Um, new friend. Yes. Okay. Um, what else? Um, there's a couple NC items. Oh, you know what? We could finish the tutorial quest thingy today as well. Okay, so, oh my god, these boxes. Okay. Oh, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what I was about to say. Okay, what do we need to send? Oh my god, there's so much. Okay. Pink Mountain and Cloud Background. These are the two items I got from the NC items from the tutorial quest, so I'm gonna send this one over. I think that would work out well for her. And then I got this cotton candy tree to go with it, which I think is kind of cute. It's um one of the bonus items you can still get from buying key quest tokens. Okay, so what is it? What is it called again? Pink Mountain and Clouds? So that would be under P, I think. I've immediately forgotten. Yes, okay. Pink Mountain and Clouds background. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, I need to put my password. Oh no! Now everybody knows I don't have a pin. <laughs> uh, cotton candy tree. Oops. Let's see, what else? Cotton candy tree is going over as well. C, C, C. Okay, I'm also going to send over the rainbow parasol. Oops, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Sorry about that. Um, where is it? Gleaming G. Gleaming rainbow I could probably just hit G on my keyboard, couldn't I? That would be much easier. Okay, is that all? Do we need anything else? Oh, I remember! The birthday kawaii contacts! I, I got those from one of the capsules. Oh my god, I kind of went crazy with the capsules. Oh, and I want to send the pink dye works big doll eyes contacts over for Missy Rainbow as well. Because I decided to paint her zombie with one of the fountain fairy dips. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. And she can still kind of be striped, like in my own art, but also a zombie. I think that would Oh, wait, what did I just click? Um, what do I want? B, birthday. Um, birthday, Hawaii. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is so exciting. Sorry. <laughs> I should have gotten prepared beforehand, but um, I'm not that organized. Okay, what else? The last thing. Hey, didn't we just send those? What the? They're still here. Do we need to refresh? Did it not refresh? Wait, what did I just send? And to whom? Okay, that was weird. I might have accidentally sent another birthday item. I'll have to look at the footage. Okay. Mm, birthday kawaii contacts. Okay, this time let's actually pay attention to what we're doing. Okay, those sent. Wait, what? No, they're still here. Okay, this is weird. Why isn't it working? The other two worked when I sent them. No, I definitely sent them that time. What is going on? Do the dye works ones work? Okay. Okay, that says, congratulations, your gift has been delivered. Um, and they're gone. That one worked, but not the kawaii contacts. I don't know if I should try one more time. Like, this, it's clearly still in my, um, my inventory, because I can interact with it. Okay, I'll try one more time, and then give item. Congratulations, your gift has been delivered. And then it's going to refresh. And they're gone! Oh! It worked that time! That is so strange! <laughs> I don't know what went on. So, I guess what we have to do now is go over there and um, accept all the items and then... Hello. Wow! Look how exciting! How festive! Oh, the chub chub is so cute! <laughs> okay. I think everyone's probably going to be sad on my side account <laughs> because 
I don't, I can't remember if I remembered to put them in the new lodge or not. How is every, oh my goodness, 12. How, oh no, they're okay. Yay. Okay. Gee whiz. It's a lot of, oh, this is all the thingies telling me I got a gift. Open all. Accept all. Submit. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wait. Okay, this is everything we need. Perfect. Oh, I don't know. I just got so nervous for a second. <laughs> I thought I was going to click discard. Okay. Um, I guess we can just put everything in the closet. I don't know how entertaining this video is so far. I just... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't ready. <laughs> I could just cut this out, but I don't know. It's all part of the adventure. Should we go? I guess we should paint her before we go to customize. And before some awful random event. Oh, we'll put this in our thingy too. I'll put in the closet. Thank you. Before the pant devil swoops in or the Kiko Lake Altador Cup team claims my candy paintbrush as a donation. <laughs> Watch it happen right when I click on the rainbow pool. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Are you guys gonna load? <laughs> oh gee whiz. Oh, there you are. <gasps> okay, I know as a silly, but it just means so much to me to have finished successfully a semester of university and just the amount of things that I learned and like how much more knowledge and understanding I have now than what I started is just such a fulfilling and almost humbling feeling and it's just I'm realizing now like this is what university was supposed to feel like like when i first started going to university straight out of high school i didn't really know what i wanted to do and i was just sort of felt like i had to force myself into some degree just because it was what society expected of me and that was what you had to do to be considered like an upstanding and intelligent and productive member of society like I was doing it based on the expectation of others and not myself and now that I'm in a program that I actually am really passionate about like it's such a different experience like it's looking at it through a whole different lens it's it's truly amazing and i'm just so grateful to be here and to have experienced this and for everything that i've learned and i'm just excited to continue in january <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just really grateful. I, I'm sorry. Um, I'll, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll paint her now. <laughs> I know that's what we're all here for. Maybe. I don't know. Um, here we go. We did it. Candy. Starburst. Submit. <gasps> Starburst. Oh, you look beautiful. And it's so perfect. Look how good she looks with the rainbow yu yu. <gasps> I love her. I love it. Okay. Let's customize you. We can get you a better outfit than this. Um, all my pets on my side account are kind of a mess right now. I've been, um, what was I even going to say? I, oh, there's that. Oh, I didn't realize it had, like, little animated flowers. That's so cute. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Our... 
Oh, the tree doesn't show up. That's okay. Our kawaii. Oh my god, she's so cute! Um, oh, that, that I just completely... What, oh no, wait, don't save it yet. I need to take off. Um, actually, <laughs> I'm not gonna leave it like this, but I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like <laughs> now. Starburst! Oh, that is... she's adorable. <laughs> Goofy. Okay. Um, let's see. I do have better plans for all of these guys. Um, but for the time being, okay, we can take off this and what else? This. Oh, and the I had a different plan for the dress I was gonna give her. I think it's oh yeah, this one I think will work well for her. Yeah, and I, I really like how the neon um, uni hair accessory and eventually the wings and the tail, like, they still show um, the candy rainbow mane and tail through them, that which I love, but they also kind of soften it a bit to fit more within this pastel background, and um, I think they kind of help tie everything together. I, I really... Um, I really like this, and yeah, <laughs> sorry, um, that was not the most graceful way to end that sentence, but okay, Missy Rainbow, oh, she looks really cool with the, the starry eye contacts, but oh, look at her, um, I think I might take off the balloon, I think it's cute, but I have like a, a different kind of, actually, I don't know. I think the balloon was kind of fun. I might put it back. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Um, well, for this outfit, actually, I kind of prefer the starry eyed contacts, but I have um, a different one planned for her that it takes me a really long time to collect and see items. Um, I want the glowed up wig, I think it's called, and the pastel gothic dress for her. And um, those are the two like main NC items I need for the customization I'm planning for her, but it always takes me a really long time. I'm bad at NC trading. It always makes me really nervous because um, it's it, like really confusing to deal with ratios. And like, it's not that I can't understand it, but like there's like this anxiety that comes with it and like combined with my social anxiety of not wanting to make mistakes when I'm like making offers and then um it just makes it really difficult for me like that anxiety increases the confusion around numbers and if like three to one is like I well now that I'm saying it out loud it makes more sense that three to one would be three gift box capsules for one item, but I'm always have like this uncertainty. Is it like three items for one or one item for three? I don't know, but like um, that's, uh, I know this it makes me sound like a complete idiot, but it's something that I've struggled with a lot and I kind of avoid NC trading because of it. Um, I really wish there were like an actual NC trading post where um it was more streamlined in terms of making offers and more clear i say more clear but it is clear how many gift box capsules people want and i'm just easily confused and um kind of embarrassed about admitting it <laughs> um yeah that's kind of why i have trouble collecting nc items and i kind of tend to lean more towards Neopoint heavy customizations because of it. Yeah, that's... Oh, look! Oh, she looks so bright! Look at how she's lighting up the night! Oh, she's like a beacon of light and color and joy. Oh, I love her so much. I love all these pets. This is actually my friend's pet that I'm looking after for now. I'm gonna give her back when, um when she can be a UC. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is, she's cute though. I do love her. There we go. Um, what else was I going to do? I guess we should do, maybe we can just do our daily quests. We can play a game. Which game should we play? Which games do you like? Do you guys have favorite games? 
Um, last night I just discovered that uh, Pinball, Le Legends of Pinball was working now. It's really exciting. Like, if you guys have games that you really enjoy, but they're like almost working, but not quite, like I've found that like over time more and more seems to work with Ruffle. So like up until a, like a little while ago, I couldn't play Clockwork Codebreaker, but now it works again. Um, and same with some other games. Like what else was I finding I couldn't play? Um, Legends of Pinball was one. Extreme Herder 2 was another one that wasn't working at first, but is now working for me. Um, and it seems like different games seem to work for different people, um, I guess, depending on um, various things. I don't know what to play. Um, we could play Dungeon Dash. I've beaten this a couple times, but <laughs> I'm probably going to embarrass myself. But if you want to see my technique, um, I'll show you. <laughs> Okay, let's see, but I'm probably going to be worse because I haven't played it for quite a while. So let's see, it's... Um, how I do it is I put all my both hands on the keyboard and then... Or both hands on like the item keys. So it's X, C, V, B, N, right? I believe so. We have to do triple A for... Um, the trophy. Not that we're going for the trophy, I already have it, but I'm not also not going to be knocking anyone else on the scoreboard because everybody who scores 5,000 gets the trophy. And I'm not really concentrating as much because I'm talking, but... <laughs> okay, so let's see. I find the best way place to click with the shovel is like right when you get onto the block before um, the block with the... Um, you know, the block that you have to remove, um, and I'm kind of messing up. I usually do slightly better than this, I swear. So my technique is, oh, okay, level two. Um, you seem to go faster with the, if you hold the bubble down. So I'm just holding down C, I think it is, and you can see like how the background seems to move slightly faster when you're moving the bubble. So like, I really use this opportunity or this level as an opportunity to get as far out ahead as you can. And then, um, so in the later levels, you do have a slight opportunity to pause and calculate your moves and your jumps if you need to. Um, you'll be far enough ahead that you aren't gonna probably get caught in that case. So also, um, after you do the spring, the spring kind of slows you down, but you can get your speed back if you do um, the bubble right after. Now, um, yeah, so like that. So just the kind of practice doing spring, then bubble. I'm really messing this up, sorry, because I'm talking. <laughs> but yeah, oh god. Um, spring, then bubble immediately. Um, it might actually be a better idea in this level to do um, the, use the shovel to clear blocks because sometimes you can jump right over uh, the, the helmet, which you need to be able to beat the game. Um, so uh, if you, like, it comes right after a really high drop, so um, that is something to consider. And I'm just like continuously clicking the key to apply the helmet throughout this level. Um, here we have the shield. Um, so yeah, this one is a bit trickier. Hopefully we make it through. Oops. Um, let's see. Uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell where they're positioned, at least in my opinion, if they're gonna hit your head or your body. But, um, uh, you kind of just have to make a judgment call sometimes. Okay, that- oops. Oh, no, I'm, I made it. Okay, good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just kind of keeping the- oops. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm still- I am still haven't lost any lives, that's good. So yeah, um, just keep- either the shovel, or not the shovel, the helmet, or the, um, okay, for this guy, oops, I applied the wrong thing, you need the helmet for the Kugra and the, the, 
shield for the ski then you need the bubble to go over those things <laughs> all right so yeah this one you really just have to kind of be quick oops and um sometimes i find it easier to um just clear those oh good gosh darn it okay sorry i <laughs> i messed up but i was kind of trying to explain that i find it easier i think to if you can use the shovel to um get rid of the crates with the sharp things in them <laughs> um i find that better um than trying to go over with them with the bubble it sort of decreases the risk of an accident but all right we did okay so there's there's our game for today <laughs> okay um i hope that helped anyone um <laughs> if you're trying to get the trophy it does you will get better with practice as you go on so what else do we have to do um spin the wheel of mediocrity purchase items how many items do we need two okay and groom a pet um Oops, no, I wanted to see my inventory. Oh, I guess we can groom here. Who wants to be groomed? Uh, Bella, how about you? <laughs> oh, you know what? I thought of something else we can do today. <laughs> okay, um, Bella, this is her Christmas outfit. Bella's really the only one that I have like multiple outfits her for, for different seasons because she's kind of dark and she's a little bit mean to be honest. <laughs> um, but like um she has this kind of creepy gothic look and um it's just really fun to make like seasonal <laughs> outfits for her i wonder if i could do like a festival of negs one somehow that would work for her <laughs> i don't know but anyways what was i gonna do oh right we have to groom her we can use the galaxy bath bombs okay cool can we go play games now sure bella um what else wheel of mediocrity that's what we need to spin all right what do we have 200 so we got 100 neo points that's not bad <laughs> what was the other thing purchase three things from shops oh goodness i'm not much of a restocker. I've kind of been going to the stamps more lately just because it's like right here when you go to Neopia Central, but I don't know. Well, let's see. Um, I know I said before I wanted to collect character themed Isukis and I do have a bunch of them. Oh, well, we'll check the plushies out. Who do I? Oh, I don't have the Skeeth plushie plushie, but Oh, he is so cute. Um, let's see, I don't know, 700. <laughs> 800. 870. Hello. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I do have the collection started, kind of. I don't, I only have like a couple characters, <laughs> but they're all kind of sitting in my safety deposit box now because. Um, I don't have a gallery for them. Actually, technically I do. I have my uh, second site account that doesn't have any items on it or any a gallery. So I could technically do that, but okay. Can... Okay, this is not loading. <laughs> Hello? Should I go back and try again? Oh my goodness. There he is, he's still here. 900 okay i'll just give you 900 how about that would that make you happy thank you he is very cute okay um who else do i have a lulu plenty a gin plushie i don't have him um he's kind of expensive i wonder how much he would be to buy new but that's okay no he, she's never gonna go for how about six thousand um okay i forget how much it was originally <laughs> um okay it is going down 
Oh my god, wait, what? Okay, sorry about that. I just lost my screen for a second. 609, really? Okay, you can have 609. Thank you. There we go. So we need three items, don't we? Did we look at Yusuke Land already? We could go there too. I always click on the wrong one <laughs> for the bazaar or the plaza. Handheld Yusuke Rogue. No, there are no like, characters in here today. Um, I don't think I need any of that. Wait. Oh, hello. I like collecting the cards, kind of, but I, I, I like, I'm not trying to get uh, the trophy. I don't really care about having a complete collection. I really just like the ones that are interesting or fun to me. Um, he's cute, but I think I have him already. <laughs> um, I don't know what to get. I don't know what to buy. I could buy food for my pet. <laughs> my pets <laughs> that's one thing i could buy but no that's too easy <laughs> hmm, what else can we look at oh we could look at fairy foods i like the fairy mushrooms as well i think they're fun and i i know i mentioned before that i wanted to collect them but um let's see if there are any i don't have um probably not i mean i already have the really common ones <laughs> so <laughs> but you never know Oh, there's a lot here. Um, mm -hmm. Fairy tomato. Um, I have the tooth fairy. I have all the fairy apples as well. Um, and all the fairy bubbles. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, veggie flower cracker. Um, maybe we'll get a cookie sandwich. We can, I mean, Bridget's still hungry. She could eat that. <laughs> Oh, we could talk to our little friend, too. He's all festive. You know, does anybody else do their dailies like this? Like, just kind of mind... Or not mindlessly, but just kind of explore Neopia and do the ones you remember about in the process rather than, like, looking at a list and doing it all systematically. I don't know. I honestly... I, I just think it's more fun <laughs> and immersive this way. And um, there are tons of dailies that... Um, I will forget about for years. A Gellert puppet! Let's see him. Oh, we should check the Allender, Allender <laughs> Advent calendar today. Oh my god, he's so cute! <laughs> okay, uh, oops, sorry, Spice. Bridget. Oh, we were just in Fairyland. Oh, you're not hungry anymore. Great. Um, you little friend can go in the gallery. I've been really... <laughs> I haven't been doing a very good job of organizing my gallery. Um, put into gallery. Let's see. Um, I did... I tried to make a rainbow, but um, all the most recent plushies I've added are still just hanging out at the top. Um, I think this mummy plushie is actually really cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here's the guy from the advent calendar. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's very exciting. <laughs> okay, there's everyone. And Topsy is kind of, or Mecha Topsy is kind of an odd color. So I put him at the bottom. So, yeah, because he's kind of like pink but also metal so i thought like you can imagine he's the one who sort of restarts the cycle because he kind of fits in with the rainbow plushies who are at the top and then um the gray or white plushies or i guess they're gray i put the white plushies in with the blue plushies because they have that sort of hue to them and then silver is down here and then mecha topsy and then it brings us back to rainbow at the top <laughs> So uh, there we go. That's that's that. Um, okay. So what's next? What's next? Oh right, I was gonna look at the advent calendar. I've really changed my mind about the P. I mean, okay. Imagine if I got a P. <laughs> but uh, the P in the pool, the the great debate. I I initially I was against it, but not because of um sort of balancing issues that other people were worried about 
I was more so worried, or I was upset because of what it meant for the community. I was, I mean, ugh, preaching peace on board seven was stupid and I'm kind of embarrassed that I even said anything like, can we all just get along? <laughs> I didn't say that in those exact words, but anyways, um, I don't know. It just really upsets me to see the community lose faith in each other and Neopets as a whole over this item and that really colored my opinion of it. That like brought out all the negatives that could possibly be associated with it in my mind. So that was like, you know, just skewed my perspective, I think, initially. Um, and the, it was probably because the first place I looked was Board 7. <laughs> I wasn't, like, I had no idea about the P until I looked there. I just got up, um, I got, went to the advent calendar, and then I just looked at the boards to see, like, what people were saying about, like, the prizes for the day or, like, the little, um, animation. Um, I thought that, I think it, it wasn't the first animation, I think it was. It was the Jinja one. I thought that was really cute, and I liked how it played into the, um, the little comic from, I think, was it last year or the year before? I don't even remember, but, um, yeah, I thought that was really fun, and I, that was, uh, something I enjoyed. I really love the comics, actually, for the advent calendar. I think, um, it's a really sweet idea, and I really love the ones from this year. Um, the Snow Chombi one was really adorable, and the last year, or I think it was yesterday's one, right? Where it was like the, the three generations of Akaras, and I think, um, it was supposed to be like the three panels of the grandpa growing up on like his experience of the joy on of joy on the day of giving i thought that was really cute and sweet and i i really like that and i'm excited to see which ones today but uh back to the p um yeah so um that was really like my first impression was chaos <laughs> um so it was really sort of a situation where initially okay so at first i looked at the board and a lot of the things were saying like oh my god like uh tnt doesn't even understand their own game and things like of that nature and then i came back later and things had devolved into turning on the ambassadors and um and each other and it was just like um, I, not that that was unjustified, I think, um, there was, I mean, I understand why there was, people took issue, but what I was most concerned about was, like, how people were treating each other, how, like, demeaning and cruel some people were being in their expression of their um anger or frustration and um it just it really broke my heart to see that the the damage that this p did to the community and that was like what colored my entire view of it and like that was sort of my mentality and in the poll board that you know uh, one for if you approve of the p two if you disapprove i think it was i initially said two um but i think my opinion has changed now that i've seen how happy some people are to have it and um to see how um 
people celebrating each other getting the pee like that made me really happy and you know to think about new users and thinking back to um the first plots i participated in like considering there's a plot coming up i would have been so happy to have had more accessible better battle dome items like I mean, now it's also sort of a different time because there's more um, in the way of guides um, on how to level your pet and so on and so forth. Um, not that that didn't exist back then, but now it's a lot easier to find and access those things and they're sort of more a part of um, the site culture in a broader sense because back i was there for um uh, champions of meridel battle for meridel and hannah and the ice caves and i remember being so excited to like pick a side and be part of them like especially in hannah and the ice caves i was i was just thrilled i to be part of this plot but i didn't even get a trophy for it because I couldn't beat a single opponent in the Battle Dome. And I mean, it does make me happy to think that maybe the experience going forward will be different for people who would have been in a similar situation to the one I was in back then for this upcoming plot. Um, so yeah, that's sort of my thoughts on it. I, you know what? will manage with a pee in the pool. It's fine. Maybe maybe TNT could release like a a another battle dome item that's like a a chlorine based um <laughs> defense item. Would that make people happy if there was something specifically to protect against the pee in the pool? Would that <laughs> I'm sorry about the pee puns. <laughs> I have the sense of humor of a four-year-old, clearly. <laughs> but <laughs> would you enjoy that? Um, I don't know. I just, I just want to make light of this, you know. I, I, I want people to be happy and get along. That was the whole reason I was against the pee in the first place was because it turned people against each other. And um, when I really think that we should all be sort of moving forward with positivity and um hope because this we do have in a sense an opportunity in this new era for neopaths but we can't paint our future on this canvas of darkness and negativity we need to move forward with hope and i think i've also fallen into this trap um maybe for a slightly different reason in terms of like the community aspect that i was more concerned about than the battle dome or the economy which i did worry about but i think it was because i had already sort of fallen into a very negative view in the p of the p that i was um focusing more on the potential negatives and because i was so sort of unhappy about it i i had this idea that i i didn't want it like i there was a time like on the first and second days <laughs> that it was out i like genuinely was afraid to get it i was like i almost i was like i don't want to discard it because i know that would it could make other people happy but I don't know how to give it away without it going to a scammer or botter I don't I don't want to sell it because it's like because I didn't like it <laughs> you know like I don't want to have like an item that blows everything else I've worked for over these past 20 years out of the water that I have such a negative association with but now that um now that things have settled down and I've seen the more positive side of it I've 
really sort of changed my thoughts on that. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. And, you know, I think, like I was saying, like, it's easy to f sort of fall into the trap of this black and white, all or nothing thinking, which even though I'm conscious of it, I did it too. Like, um, I just, I didn't consider all the angles, even though I thought I was. And I think, you know, it's important just to take a step back and know that there's still a way for things to work out, that the healing can happen, that things aren't always as bad as you initially think they are. Um, because if your baseline is perfection, then you're never going to be happy, if that makes sense. Although, like, we can, we should still strive to better things while making the most of what we have and supporting each other through it, I suppose, is my message. <laughs> that's my holiday message, you know? I, I, that's part of what I've said me. Like, this is supposed to be a season of goodwill and peace, so I hope... I hope that's, that's you know, my, my biggest holiday wish for Neopets. And I've seen a lot more of that as the the pee situation has settled down but anyways i'm sorry i just spat out so many words about this but uh, that's uh, i'll uh, let's just go see the advent calendar oh my goodness that's enough pee talk seasons greetings wait oh my god is that oh wait what wait <laughs> is this about the pee what is happening <gasps> This is crazy. Raina, please, we must stop the advent calendar. Hold up, Orion. What are you doing here? I know we don't know each other well, but this is important. Something terrible is about to happen. You aren't making any sense. Why do we need to stop the advent calendar? There isn't any time. We need to prepare as soon as possible. I, 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 I don't know how I'm seeing these things, but... I know it can't be good. Take a deep breath, Orion. Now please start over. I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm sorry. A, a few days ago, I was consulting my cards as I, walk, as I walked when a tender and resonant plucking came to me. And moments later, I tripped over this lyre in the snow. Since then, I've had terrible visions, visions that I fear will soon impact all of Neopia greatly. Was it about a pea <laughs> in a Santa hat? <laughs> because it's too late, we can't put that cat back in the bag. Ryan, you look like you haven't slept in days. I admire your determination, but I think you need to go home and have some rest. Please, Reyna, you must promise me you'll stop the advent calendar. Now is not the time for fun and games. Something horrible is coming to Neopia, and something we must prepare for. For your own sake, go get some sleep. You look unwell. If you're still worried, we can talk more about this later. Oh, Reginald! Oh my god! He has a portrait of Jaren in his house? Okay, wait, Reyna, where'd you go? Hello. Marching Glockenspiel! <laughs> well, that's a, an appropriate one that we got an instrument. Was that um, part of it? Or did, did everybody get an instrument? Or was it just, was it just a coincidence? Aww. He's so cute! <laughs> I love him. I'm so happy we get to see him. <gasps> Do we get a Reginald-themed prize? Oh, original Christmas stamp! <laughs> uh, big book of intermediate evil plots. Ooh, very cool. Um, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't really use stamps. I don't collect stamps, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just, I'll put that in my inventory, or not my inventory. Oh, 
this is like not an um this is an actual item i've never seen this book before i mean all of them are <laughs> actual items but i mean it's like a, a it's a buyable item it's not an advent calendar exclusive one reading holiday stories by the fireplace is a great way to spend the day oh okay i'm gonna put him in my safety deposit box for now ah uh, okay i'm really happy with that one <laughs> um i don't know if i'll actually put it in an album or not or in the stamp album but i'm definitely going to keep that one um i'll put you in the safety deposit box too for now this is really cool there's like a little story in the advent calendar like i'm 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 really excited. This is so neat. This is like, I really, even if there have been hiccups or, um, you know, um, little bugs and well, not little bugs, th there are significant issues along the way, but, um, despite that, I really appreciate how, like, despite how few, um, a team members we learned there were in the latest AMA, I think, did they say like 40 or something? Or maybe even less than that, maybe it was like 20, I don't remember, I'm extremely bad at remembering numbers, but um, I just really appreciate how sort of involved they are and what they're trying to do. I think they do have very ambitious plans, and I do appreciate that. Like, even little things like this, we never would have gotten this level of care and involvement in um, the jumpstart era, <laughs> I don't think. Like, do you remember the year tw 22 advent calendar? That was scary, to say the least. I mean, I don't I don't like to say mean things about other people's art, but I I cannot get over how Bryn looked, how they drew Bryn. That was that was something else. I I I was recently reminded of it, and I wish I hadn't been because I wish I could scrub that image from my memory. Oh yes, and we've done all our quests. Sorry, I've um. Yeah, but I have so much to do. I'm sorry if this is going to be a really long video. Um, all right. I really, yes, that registered. Okay, so what do we have to do? We have to do a trade, a quest from the brain tree, help Edna, and... Oh, we do have a Nurk mid. We could do that first. Or should we try the Edna quest first? I haven't done an Edna... Oh my goodness, not the brain tree. Ugh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Let's try. Let's see. Brain tree. Fetch me information. Okay, here we go. 51 minutes to find Rupert Kiri. Um, where and when he died. Okay, so we have to see this guy twice i think okay you're hungry um clamato and roasted spider on a stick is that how expensive is that i think i did okay let's see oh that's not bad do, can we just pick them up at the store? No, of course not. Okay, 1,000, 1,000, 1,001. Oh, six, okay, sorry. I went right past it. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not a huge price difference, but thank you, um, Couscous. I appreciate your affordable spider on a stick, okay? And then we also need the Clamato. Clamato. Clamato juice. It's a different thing. Oh. There's one right there. 960. 
Oh, and it's cheaper than the restock price. Although I could probably hag it, haggle it down lower than that, but I mean, if it restocked around there, but oh, let's not get into that. We just want to get this. Oh no, I meant to do shop wizard to get it done quickly. Nato, $8.99. Sure, we'll take it. It looks good. Okay. Okay, approach him again. I have your food. Um, 27 BN. Okay, I'm going to put that in notepad. 27 BN. Okay, so I'll get you in more food. Now we need rundo sticks. Do I have those? I feel like I put those, I remember putting those in my safety deposit box at some point, but I don't think I have them anymore. We can check though. How much do they cost? Oh, they're really cheap. So <laughs> I'm not particularly worried about that. Grundo sticks. Okay, I'll just take the first one. That's fine. Grundo sticks. What else? Edna Spooky Brew. Okay. Oh no! <gasps> How rare is it? R89? That's probably not going to show up in this shop. Gosh darn, inflators. <laughs> 30,000, really? Okay. 59, 33. Oh wait, the other one was 30, right? Okay, I think that might be the lowest we're getting it for. 32. 300, gee whiz. 45, um, 32. 29. 9.99 that's not that's one neo point cheaper but i think that's the best we can do <laughs> for all your needs thank you very much all right so what was the last thing we needed um we can close all these now i think got the grundo sticks this isn't chili cheese fries okay this isn't chili cheese fries 34, oh my god, I'm going to have to take money out of the bank. Gee, oh my god, what, that went too fast. Okay, 60, 32, 32, a lot of 32,000s, okay. That's slightly cheaper than what they say it's worth, but, um, so there's that. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I think 32 is the best we're going to get. Hold on, I'll just... Okay, thank you for the fries. Um, oh, I, I think I've seen that shopkeeper before. I would love some more shopkeepers because, um, you know, it would be nice to have them updated since there are a lot of pets in different colors that don't even exist with the... Okay. Maracqua, okay. Got it. 27 BN Maracqua. Okay, no, I do not need to approach you again, but thank you. I appreciate your help. Um, year of death is 27 BN. Did I copy that right? I hope so. Maracqua. Oh, wow. What, the, what is this? <laughs> Thank you, Braintree. I appreciate it. 430 Neo points. What is it? How is this in the... Oh, we can make something. And it's worth less than... <laughs> okay. No, nobody likes this. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Thank you for your wonderful prize. Um, yeah, I'm not winning any trophies there. All right, so what we have to do an Edna quest as well. Why are they all spooky quests for the tutorial? Um, I haven't done quests like this in forever. It's been years. Okay, 
Plead a crest to help Edna. Okay, we'll go visit Edna now. Welcome to my home. I deal in magic spells and potions. Need someone to love you? Want to give someone spots and itches? I'm the person to talk to. I'm searching for missing ingredients for my latest spell. <laughs> if you find them for me, I will reward you with a treat. Interested? I need you to go hunt for missing spell ingredients for me. If you do it, I'll reward you with something special. <clears throat> okay, then. Long box braids, wig, and organic um, octo snacks. Oh, of course this is... Oh, no, we got the Neopets one. <laughs> um, oh, I don't suppose it's in stock. Oh, it's more expensive in the store anyway, but... Okay. Long box braids, wig. 250. It's not bad. Oh, 100. Thank you. I mean, I could afford to buy a 250 Neopoint wig, but I appreciate your 100 point um, one. Um, okay, and what else? Organic Octo Snacks. 1,000 Neopoints? It's not bad either. Um, you don't have any Octo Snacks, do you? <clears throat> it seems not. That's all right. Oh, the black eyed peas are cool. I've, I, I, mm, I don't know. I thought it would be cool to set up a gallery with items that look like blood and eyeballs and things like that. And like, like, oh my goodness! You know which item I love? Okay, one sec. Spa eyes. <gasps> Look at this guy! <laughs> this is what I think of every time someone talks about the spaghetti coat. <laughs> this item. Um, but anyways, sorry. Did I just... No, I haven't bought those Octo Snacks yet. Okay. Let's see. 750. That sounds good, I think. Okay. Thank you for the octo. Oops, I uh, didn't mean to leave already, but that's okay. Hello, Edna. Have your ingredients. Oh, the old witch gives you a pumpkin pie. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a very good cackle. I'm sorry. I've successfully made rainbow egg of sci bunny shrinking yes i have all the ingredients <laughs> thanks a lot and please come back again to help me as an extra bonus i have given you 154 neopoints and a pumpkin pie thank you all right let's see oops i've already been to the calendar what else do we need to do set up a trade and try your luck okay let's see okay maybe what do I have? I'm trying to think. Maybe I could trade. Um, I got a croc from the thingy, but I don't think I'm going to do anything with him. So maybe um, someone else will enjoy him more than me. Um, let's see. Croc. Um, going for 1,250. So... I'll remove him, and then we can go to the trading post. Where is it? My, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, create a new trade. Let's see. Let's see. I'll say 1.1 mil. That seems decent. Or um, the rainbow uni stuff I'm looking for. So that would be... I think some of them are too expensive, but neon uni, or no, it would be uni neon, right? Uni neon. Okay, so we have the hair accessory. We need, okay, the wings and the 
hooves are going to be too much. But we could ask for this. Um, and that'll give like people a cheaper option to um, offer for it. Does that seem fair? <laughs> I mean, not for me, for them. Just curious. Just... Oh. Okay, yeah, I think that'll be all right. Okay. We'll do that. Because I think the other ones... I'm not interested in the harness or the horn. I just want the hooves, tail, and wings, and uh, hair. So... There we go. I think that'll that'll work out. These two are too expensive to justifiably do with the croc. Yeah, okay. Why is it telling me Trudy surprise? Oh wait, I opened this tab like at the very beginning, didn't I? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so that counted, right? Or do we have to okay. Now all that's left is the vending machine, and I do have a Nurk mid. You may remember it from my fairy festival video when I debated giving it to Jutora. Just kidding, I wasn't actually going to. <laughs> it's my safety deposit box. Okay. Oh, but the drain, drain tree, brain tree could have been... Okay, now that every time I get an item, um, like, between, or, like one of these rarities, <laughs> I'm always like, I could have given that to Jutora. So I'll put him into my safety deposit box to see if maybe, um, maybe the same thing will happen at a future, um, charity corner. What am I looking for in my safe? Oh, right, Nurk Mid. Average Nurk Mid. Okay. Let's see. If I click on the right one, it's the plaza, right? Ha ha! Okay, here we go. What do you think? Press me to continue. Okay. Which Nurk would you use? Just this one. Um, okay, let's see. Which large button? Um, I think the, the number three, it's pink that's cute or maybe the yellow the yellow is really cute and happy too okay left green red pink red blue purple i'm kind of i'm kind of drawn to the blue let's see how many times do you press it we'll press it four times and we'll do how many levers how many do you think we should pull we'll pull six We'll pull all of them? No. Um, we'll pull four as well. Okay. Oh yeah, I am having like kind of a pink and blue theme today, so I guess that does work. Okay, ready? What's it gonna be? Onion puff. Delicious. Thank you. <laughs> oh no, I don't want actual recipes for onion puffs. I want the Neopets onion puffs. Like, this isn't going to be worth anything, but... <laughs> um, I really hate onions, to be honest. <laughs> I do not like... Like, uh, they're one of, like, those foods that are just, like, a hard pass. I cannot stand onions. Um, what should we do with it? Is anyone actually going to buy an onion puff? This is like, I don't know, this, whatever this is on top looks really pretty, actually. I'm not going to feed that to my pets. Maybe I can just, you know what, someone else can enjoy it. There we go. <laughs> we don't need an onion puff. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, I meant to tell you that I'm, I'm working on, 
um, another video about like the species lore kind of video series that I talked about before. I'm working, I was originally going to do four in one, but then I realized that would just be too much because it's taking me a really long time just to get this one done. And um, it's kind of, um, well, it's not, I kind of hit a wall. Well, not really hit a wall, but um, I have to go through um the darkest fairy to retrieve some information from the game um that i just don't or i guess i'm kind of like looking through my own footage but there are other things like i have to go back to find again because i want to reference them but um it's not like the website where you can just search it and it's there like you have to find it within the game but so that's taking a while so <laughs> that's the hold up and i'm also doing the the art -er, the our Neopets secret Santa sent art. Um, so yeah, I just got my my person, my gifty yesterday, and I'm really excited about that. So I also like want to devote a lot of my time um, and effort to trying to make a good a good thing for them. Obviously, I want it to be a surprise, but uh, yeah, um, that's 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 what's going on with me now that school is over for now. Um, all right, Shenanigans Retired Mystery Capsule 2023. I haven't even looked at this. I don't know what, what you can get in it because I wanted it to be a surprise. If this is one of those ones where you have to pick whether you want like an accessory or clothing or, um, background or whatever, um, I might have to look to see what the options are, but I, I want it, I want it to be surprised. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is. Yay! <laughs> okay, so let's go see it. Um, inventory. Okay, let's see. Celebrate the parties of shenanigans past. Once this, open this capsule and select a, oh, we do select a category. Okay, um, so we're gonna, gonna have to look it up to know which items will be the best. Okay. Let's see, open. Okay, backgrounds, clothing, accessories. Okay, let's see. Another capsule. No, okay, that doesn't matter. I know where this is the right one. Um, okay. Let's see, clothing. What can we get? Um, oh, there's a lot, which makes it kind of tricky. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't know if I need any of these dresses or. Um, that's kind of cute, but I don't think I would, any of my pets would wear it. Um, let's see, what do we have for accessories? Bright pink, oh, my goodness, I don't know. Ooh, I really, like, I feel like this is something Snip could wear. I mean, I don't know if I'll get that one, but, okay, yeah, we'll try, we might go for accessories and hope for something good. <laughs> Could it, oh, watermelon contacts. That would be cool. Um, hmm. Goodness, I don't know. What about the background? Oh, background might be good too. Lace palace background. What does that look like? Um, seashell curtains, snow covered forest. Um, I don't know. There's nothing that really stands out to me as like a category that I absolutely want to go for. Fireworks shower. That sounds nice too. Garden gate. I kind of, I don't think I'm going to go. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, goodness. I don't know. Okay. Of course it's not. Um, wow. That's very intricate. Okay. Let's see. What else? Um, Okay, that's, I, I do like the bold colors. I think, like, it's very, um, sort of vibrant and alive. <laughs> and this one is really gorgeous as well. Um, let's see. Staircase. Beautiful. What's this telling me about? Oh, hey, he's hibernating. I forgot. <laughs> okay. Red neg goo. I don't, okay, that's fun. 
It's silly putty. You know what? I think I'm gonna go for the accessories. Oh wait, no, no, that's not okay. Or should I go for background? I don't know. Let's see. It'll it's exciting to see anyways. Although it's too bad we only got one thing. I was hoping. Yeah, okay. No, I I'm ready. I'm ready. What is it? What's it gonna be? Tropical flower shield. Interesting. I don't know. I mean it kind of goes with the theme that I have for Trelawney, the um the my dimensional Sai Bunny, but um it's not really the right colors for her. She has a very sort of pink and green color scheme. So um I'm not sure. You know what? Oh, you know what? I meant to say, um I think I'm gonna send these the night vision contacts over to my site account, but if any of these other contacts are something that one of you guys would like or one of you guys could use for your customization like feel free to send me a new neo mail and um you can have them if you want i mean um you don't have to trade me anything you can just have them you can have the tropical flower shield as well if you think you can use it for somebody um that would be great you know um i don't want anything in return it's okay like i'm just really grateful for everyone this is the first time i've really sort of felt connected to the community and you know and even just on youtube like i've been on here for years i mean i originally had a channel back in i think like 2007 or 2008 where i would upload amvs and youtube poops that i made in windows movie maker but i deleted that channel a long time ago so and this one i started in 2015 and it's taken me like however many like eight almost nine years to get to this point um i spent a long time with you know never having any comments or um like just a handful of views um on every video and no real interaction with people so i'm just like so grateful for you guys being here and taking the time to comment i really appreciate it so like if there's any there are any of these contacts you want or need or the shield just let me know and I'm, I'm sorry if like it goes to someone else before you or something but uh hopefully um i'd be happy just to make one person happy with any of this if you like it so yeah sorry that was really a lot so that was the last quest i think right oh well, the tutorial's gone now wow so i did think of something else i wanted to do so spice spice girl is my loop and she has been on my account or not on my account she is one of the original neopets i've cr created wait i want to see actually i think she's the third pet i created because i have let's see um oh my user lookup i want to i'm working on trying to update that as well let's see um yeah i think so she's the oldest i made her on the day i created my account and then hopefully um spice girl was created on the fifth and um snip was created on the second i believe even though her page isn't loading right now but anyways <laughs> what was i gonna say um yeah it's i'm just so amazed that i managed to get her back and get the side account she was on back because um I don't even know when the last time I logged into that account was and I think like she must have it, just narrowly escaped multiple purges by infinitesimal margins like it is so incredibly lucky that I still have her and I'm so happy that I do um I'm really glad for that so oh my goodness this video has been so long I'm so sorry <laughs> um okay no, I don't want to color Bridget. No, sorry. I was thinking, I th I've thought a lot about her color or what color to make her. And I think I'm going to make her fairy. Um, I really like that for her. And I imagine her being, she's like very shy, but I think she really loves pet pets and she sort of ended up being good 
friends with Starburst. I think Starburst um, is a lot more vocal um, and bold, even though she like shares the same interests as Spice. And um, so now Spice kind of has like somebody else to um, push her forward um, apart from her sisters and support her, even though like she really does want to be independent and be her own person. But she's the kind of person who's like really nervous about it and like who it took her a really long time to kind of find her own style because even though um, there were like things she really enjoyed and wanted to explore. She was always very hesitant about it. She always felt like she couldn't pull it off or um, people would judge her for it. So that's um, right now she has this like winter <laughs> look that I just kind of put together with items I already had in my closet. But let's um, use this for her since we didn't have to use it for Starburst. All right, here we go. Oh my god. This is like, I'm painting the last one of my very first pets. That's like huge for me because I never thought I would get to this point as a kid. Um, for the first couple years I played Neopets, I made all my Neopoints from Kachik Seek and Potato Counter pretty much. So this is big for me. I used to believe that the only way I would ever have enough Neopoints to get a paintbrush would be if I were to become a Neopian Time Star and then enter the beauty contest and win because of my popularity. <laughs> Which is crazy, but <laughs> that's how unattainable it felt for me back then. And I'm glad that um, you know, steps are being taken to make the game still feel, I hope, challenging and like you can set goals for yourself, but also, um, not sort of, or to sort of break down some of those barriers. And part of the reason they existed was because I was dumb and I've never been, um, really sort of economically involved in Neopets, but I make... I've made the majority of my new points from the Altador Cup over the past couple years. Um, but anyways, I, I, I'm, I'm just rambling again. Here we go, Spice. Are you ready? <gasps> she does look really good now! <gasps> She's so cute, it's perfect! <gasps> She looks adorable. <laughs> okay, I love that. I do have a customization plan for her, but I'm still um, collecting a few of these items. Let's see, I just organized them in here. So I should probably delete these. Um, they're not really my priority anymore. I made this a long time ago, but um, let's see. Uh, Yeah, these are the items that I still need for the customization I'm planning for her. And I'm just kind of, I mean, I could afford them, but I'm just kind of working <laughs> towards like just slowly collecting them. I'm not in a rush, but yeah, so uh, there she is. Um, she's kind of like um, grown to have sort of like a the kind of, she's a bit of a hippie. <laughs> So yeah, that's, that's, I, uh, I hate that I keep saying so yeah, sorry. Um, what else? There was one last thing I feel like I needed to do. What was it? The Painted Spice. I don't know. Oh, I just had an idea. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to work out, um, my, my user lookup, like, I'm trying to, I want to make my own, like, this one, obviously, right now is, like, a pre-made one, um, based on the, um, original layout, and I want to do a, one that's sort of inspired by the original layout, but I want to make it myself and, like, have, uh, my own graphics instead of like one of the standard sidebars. I want to make like my own design, but based on that layout. If I probably just over explained that. Um, 
I just want to see what this will look like. Oh, oh my gosh. I kind of, I kind of love it actually. <laughs> oh, it looks so cute. I love how the bold text looks on the trophies. And I just realized um, that this, um, like this box uh, cuts off the level at the bottom. And I hope that's not a problem. Like, I know you're not supposed to hide stats, but that's not really hiding anything. Also, I also realized I play Neopets zoomed in to 125%, so this is what it would normally look like. Um, how, how far do you guys play Neopets zoomed in, or do you just play it at the standard 100%? Because, um, I don't know, I just can't stand how small it is. Like, why is there so much dead space on the sides? I have to do it like this. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. How about 9.5? What does that look like? That's fun! Oh, I like it. I love it. Maybe, okay, I think I should change this to be a little more legible. What is the, um, okay, how does it, it's font, Font family, is it? Um, this is the one they usually use on the site, cafeteria. Is that right? I probably messed that up. No. No, it's like font. What is the word I'm looking for? I'm just totally blanking. One sec, sorry. Oh, right, it's face. Okay, sorry. Face, that's what I was looking for. This shows how much I know. Does that work? Yes, except it's way too small. Okay, um, so we'll change the size. Size. Equals 10, I don't know. Oh, that's way too big. <laughs> okay. Um, how about seven? No. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, wait, 710. That, no wonder. Okay, how about those four? That's not bad. I mean, it's not super legible. Oops, I don't need Snip's page open. Um, what if I, what if I, does that work? No, it didn't work. Why, is it one word? That would be like a red, oh, that should be like, it's a standard. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's, is that what it is? <gasps> you know what? I actually, I actually love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, I want to leave it like this. I think, I think this is fun. I, I really, I really enjoy this. Okay. <laughs> I hope whoever looks at my user lookup um, has enough, is just filled with joy and whimsy like this has uh, <laughs> filled me with. <laughs> I, I really do enjoy this. <laughs> okay, it's perfect for now. I'll, I'll change it more later as I make more graphics and everything and I get everything prepared, but... Changes have saved successfully. Let's take a look. <gasps> yeah, I also... Ooh. Oh, the thing doesn't fit in the box anymore because I made it too big, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I also would like to try to make this a bit bigger, like in my version. I like... Well, uh, there's a lot of changes I want to make. I have a big plan. I want to make like 
yeah, sorry. I, I, I want to have like pictures of all my pets up here um, and that link to all of their pages as well as these ones. And then I want to um, just like do sort of my own graphics for the little icons and I'm going to do like buttons for all my um, side accounts and my galleries and everything and yeah I, I have a vision I just I just have to get everything worked out and I need to get everything done um, so yeah that's that's what I have so far um, I guess that's probably the note to end it on I just want to say like thank you again I really appreciate all the support and everything and I I really I'm just glad to be here I mean we're coming to the end of 2023 and for me 20 like this has really been a a difficult decade for me starting in 20 13 it's kind of just been a series of unfortunate events and i'm i'm just glad i'm here to see all of this to see um this the life that's being breathed back into neopets and i'm glad to have been able to interact with so many different people from within the community and i'm grateful to have been able to have gone to school and to have found something i'm passionate about and i'm just happy i'm i'm still here to see all of this i'm i really am so uh thank you so much again and i hope um this new year brings exciting and wonderful things for you and that things continue to get better in every sense i i appreciate you so uh that's about it